I've heard you talk about this idea of interrogating fear. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about what that means and what kind of fear are we talking about and what does it mean to interrogate fear? <laughs> so I have a very lively visualization practice. Um, I think it comes from spending hundreds of hours out there running alone, um, you know, training for ultras and just the mental gymnastics of what's going on in my, in my mind and what I want to turn the volume up on and what I want to turn the volume down on. And interrogating fear is something that I really started out there training for my first, um, I don't I think it was, oh, a charity, charity relay in Utah. I was running five, mar I was training for running to run five marathons in five days, something I'd never done before. And so that imposter syndrome was loud. And it was also around the time that I was had left my law firm. I was kind of plotting this new life. So I was just completely going by this the by instinct and and really jumping up a cliff. So interrogating fear, I when I interrogate fear, I literally envision whatever the fearful thought is, you're not enough, you're not capable, you don't belong here, um, you know, you don't deserve this, whatever accolade, conversation, opportunity. I imagine that that thought, that fearful thought is sitting on the couch with me and I ask it or, or myself, um, you know, what's, what's, what's factual about this? What is just a feeling? What is, how, how, how good could it end up? Um, and I really just start to play that out. And sometimes there are practicalities. Like if I'm preparing for race day and I'm nervous that something's going to go wrong, I play that out. And it's like, okay, what if that does happen? What if you do, you know, lose your shoe, you know, something absurd. Uh, and I, and that kind of mental gymnastics exercise allows me to take the charge out of it. And I've taken it so far as to say, like, I put fear on my cereal for breakfast and that's what I eat in the morning, you know, and I'm, I'm not, I don't believe in fearlessness. I actually think that's a harmful concept. I think that we can use the things that we're nervous or feel fearful about. Um, and I think that might be rocket fuel for a hustler. <laughs>